First, there was stone. Art City is my, they're my family. All the people here are my brothers and sisters. What if I told you my religion was a stone in the sky, following me from the first rock that spoke in childhood? Cloister heavy, the moon mute over my shoulder, leading me to wander so that now, closer to the end, I don't really know if this was Stone's kindness or trickery. Being a community of artists, we really did then evolve things uh, that enabled us to figure out how to live with one another and uh, coexist, where the primary objective was work. It wasn't in your uh, accoutrements, in the caliber of your kitchen or any of those things. Served and been served most of my best meals off hot plates. And it's not that I don't like a good stove, it's just that you don't always have one, you know, and the food tastes just as good if you spend time and are attentive. So Art City uh, was a place that affirmed that value system for almost all the artists that ever worked and lived here. We drill stone, cut stone, polish stone, and uh, arrange it, compose, you know, just uh, whatever people need or whatever we need. I'd say 10% of our carvings here might be paid for and commissioned. 90% is just to keep busy, just keep doing art, you know, in a stone way, all that. In this community of uh, Ventura in particular, Art City has had a profound impact. And so it, it tends to branch out and sad light into uh, all manner of uh, the arts. And you have all the people in the world to help you. Paul used to come by and he'd draw on my stones, funny things. And it would give me ideas. I, I, I made a, a piece, uh, a coyote. It was my dog, actually. And I was making the underside and I was making him for an erotic show. There's always kind of a, a music that goes on with a the carve. There's a rhythm and a, a, a feel to the stone, and it's, it's, it's just as much about touching something and the texture of something as the sound of it. And it's, if, you've, if people play drums and music, they get, it, there's, there's something that happens between the sound and the vibration, all of that, that happens to set up kind of a, just kind of a feeling and a mood, and, and how that, how that's all being carved and how the sound of that rock is tells us it, as it pings through it, we can hear the sound going all the way through it or is it, is it being stopped by a crack or is there something going on with it? And the pitch of the stone will actually sometimes can change in the middle of a carve and you have to pull back and be wary of it or you just want to see what's going on or maybe you've broken something and you need to really look for that break or something like that. But it's all about s sound, vibration, and, and visual. It's, it connects you all the way through. And um, we get into these things, and stone carvers will tell you, you know, it's kind of a magical place. You go someplace, and then all of a sudden you're back eight hours, and you're going, wow. <laughs> the stone yard's chock-a-block, jam-packed, cram full of rocks and carvers. Mythic types, lithic types, hot shots of every gender. No stone comes without its own uh, inner voice and, and intentions. And those have actually uh, come to affect my work more than all the art I've looked at in my whole life. Hunky granite monkeys, holy boulder rollers speaking in tongues. I love art and I'm moved by other people's ideas. I look for fresh ideas to steal all the time. Real deal stone freaks, spellbound rock hounds, stone hustlers, shoulders to the boulders. I 
want to keep my vocabulary getting richer and richer. But I would never have thought up half the things I've made in the last two decades if there hadn't been something going on in the stone in the first place. Shapeshifters, heavy lifters, rock knockers, sweet talkers, tough leather skin on them, broad mouth grin on them. Hard times, they're used to them. And then I give that voice to the finished piece I make and that frees me up from having to really explain what it is I did. Because <laughs> the stone isn't going to tell you anything. I mean, you either get it or you don't. Big dreams, they're juiced on them. Yeah. Tap, tap. Pause. Rock smack and stone crack and hammer tap and boulder rap and art citizens. Reach. Reach. <laughs> 